What are some red flags in an interview that reveals the job is toxic? An interviewer tried to convince me to lowball myself after I said what I'd accept as a minimum salary which was in their offer range from the posting. If we pay you more you wouldn't get a bonus at the end of the year, and you'd be really upset when everyone else got one. What he was able to offer salary-wise was $10,000 below their posted range. Trying to get you to agree to start before they tell you what you'll be paid. This actually happened to me. Interview do you have any questions for us? Me what is a challenge this department has recently faced? Interview job security. I interviewed for one once where the manager spent the whole time asking me the usual questions in between rounds of berating some poor tech support employee on the phone about their payroll software. Also any time a hiring manager talks up the company's bonuses and raises to justify their low salary, you'd better believe you're not actually getting either. The interview keeps telling you how fortunate you are to be there like they are doing you a favor by giving you the job. We expect our employees to be flexible regarding work schedules. Would you be available to work evenings, weekends, and occasionally on holidays with short notice according to our needs? Had an owner of a restaurant tell me. If you have a problem don't come to me cause you won't like how I fix it. Yeah, keep your job. When they have nothing good to say about the person whose position they are trying to fill. They aren't necessarily talking bad about the person just little digs, almost passive aggressive. If you hear the word sales mentioned anywhere in the job description, then sales will be your main job. We'll start you at minimum and re-evaluate in a month. When I mentioned a company's dismal glass door evaluations, they became so enraged that they ended the interview. Well, I suppose I escaped that danger. Once you realize that all upper management is family. Once I had an interview where they silently gave me a questionnaire to fill out for 50 questions and just went to another room. The questions were very detailed and stupid, mostly about money. Is your goal to make money in our company? If the answer is yes, then you didn't pass. I left before I even finished answering this list. And then I found out that they register employees for an incredibly low official salary, promising to pay most of it at the end of the month, but they detain them for six months and don't give them out if the person quit. I'm glad I left. I drove about four hours to an interview in another city. I told the person interviewing me that I was happy at my current job and wouldn't consider leaving just for the higher pay. He stood up and looked over the cubicle walls to make sure no one was around and whispered, You don't want to work here. I passed on that job but while in the new city I applied for another job where I have been happy for the last 25 years. In one interview I was enthusiastically assured that overtime wasn't an issue, but if you pick up an extra shift they pay in gift card so that it saves you on taxes. I know they are trying to save themselves employment taxes and time and a half, they are not doing me any favors. I declined their offer. If it seems like nobody has a personality. I always make it a point to make some small talk with receptionists or people interviewing me. If they shut it down immediately or just otherwise give off a WTF are you talking to me? Vibe. Nope. This may not be something that bothers others, but for me I see red flags when there is a steep, obvious, and unquestioned hierarchy separating levels of staff. I've worked in places where the lowest level staff had nearly no way to hold bad managers accountable led to some serious workplace bullying, harassment, and in at least one situation, sexual assault by a senior leader to his assistant. I don't want to work someplace where whole classes of employees are treated like shit, even if I'm personally not. What did you earn at your previous occupation? We are not looking for someone with a 9 to 5 mentality. Here you will truly be a part of the corporation family. High turnover rates can be a red flag, but they are also just more common in certain jobs than others retail, food service, etc. However, if they ever say people just don't want to work anymore or something similar, run. They won't value your time you as an employee, pay is likely to be shit, management is going to be incompetent and or overbearing, and options for raises, promotions, or career advancement is going to be minimal to none. Assigned seating in the lunchroom. 
What about X? It's confidential. What is your policy on Y? It's confidential. If you have to pay any amount of money in order to work for them it is a scam and stay away. Second-hand info but one of my co-workers told me an interviewer asked for her social media passwords to expedite their background check. She did not comply and bailed on the whole interview. It was some small IT firm that got government contracts, don't recall the name I'm not going to guess because I don't want to smear the wrong employer. I only remember the story because we were all shocked at the audacity. We're like a startup is usually bad. Everyone has to wear every hat and is completely overworked. This job won't pay your bills. This was a movie theater back in 2017. We work hard play hard. OT is basically infinite, and you can work it as much as you want. We have a high turnover rate cause people just stop coming to work. Anywhere that makes you feel it is your privilege to work their main example being any form of internship or unpaid labor. When you are asked if you have any questions, ask what the best things about working there are and follow up with what is the worst. I once had a two-person panel sit in silence for a few seconds, each of these executives eyeing the other to say something after I asked about the best things. I got some serious mumbling no definitive answer. That was a definite red flag. Hardly any interviewing and an offer on the spot they are desperate and there's high turnover. When you ask them a question on what challenges they face in the role, certain facial expressions are telling. Also if the management never did the role themselves or haven't learned the day-to-day -day of their employees. They lack perspective. Residents from CA, CO, DC, NYC, and WA need not apply. They have salary transparency laws so the company is going to lowball you big time. If they ask you to clock out and then keep working to finish closing or whatever, run away fast. It's never just a one-time thing. It's an older established company, but everyone working there is young new aside from the higher-ups. Also, if you ask what's the best part about working there and they address things like oh it's a great location or we get free lunch instead of saying what they like about the actual job or company. We treat everyone here as family. X200B. Yeah. A foster family that only does the bare minimum to keep you employed. Here's some pizza as appreciation for all your hard work. How about a FKKN raise, bitch? They don't explain their business clearly. Neither do they give you good clarity on your role. I once had an interview with a small company. The director who took my interview was being very vague about what they do. Most of her answers were you'll understand better once you start working. I took the offer, worked for a week and realized it's just a pyramid scheme. Refusing to say why the job is open. You have a right to know what you're walking into. We have a high staff turnover. Not sure why. Turns out the owner was a manipulative aggressive underhanded psychopath. Describing the staff as a family. Work hard play hard. This team is a family. Get the fuck out as fast as you can. They won't care about your well-being on or off the clock. If they take you for a little tour through the facility and everyone looks glum and depressed. We expect salaried employees to work at least 60 hours week. Any job that wants you to account for every second you're working and will discipline you for going even one second over whatever allowances you receive for lunch break are the worst. Places that strike you for clocking in at 8.01 instead of 8.00 or for taking a 17-minute break instead of 15 are the worst. The red flag that made me not accept a position I really wanted was when I asked about engineering studies using an advanced type of software. It's the kind of work that's cutting edge in my field and will be commonplace in just a few years. Well we can always contract that out. It told me this was a company that didn't invest in their engineers. When they don't realize that you're interviewing each other. When it's my turn for questions I ask about the staff workplace culture. I get them to mention turnover. If it's low turnover it's good. If it's high, it's toxic and you should run.